Church. Peter Ducey is live in Detroit with the very latest. Peter. Kelly, it seems like today everything went about exactly as the Trump campaign drew it up. Mr. Trump says that the interview he did inside uh, the building behind us with the influential pastor Wayne T. Jackson that's going to air soon on the country's only African-American owned and operated TV network went great and Trump's remarks were received enthusiastically by the crowd. Then he dropped by Dr. Ben Carson's old neighborhood to chat with people that live there, including the woman who moved into the one-time Republican candidate's house when he moved out uh, without incident. And so that means that today, most of the focus has stayed on Trump's message. And that message was tailored for an audience that Trump says lives in a place that hasn't had the appropriate access to jobs or schools that they should have for years. Trump says that he knows African Americans living in inner cities have been discriminated against, but that he could use his experience from the business world to turn their lives around. We need a civil rights agenda for our time, one that ensures the rights to a great education, so important, and the right to live in safety and in peace and to have a really, really great job a good paying job and one that you love to go to every morning. And that can happen. Kelly. All right, Peter Deucer reporting from Detroit. Thank you, Peter.